black rhino. Those are our words for today. Can you imagine anything tougher and more durable than a black rhino? Hi there, my name's Rick. I'm with Knight Equipment. We're located west of Rockford, Illinois, about eight miles, where we sell several different brands and types of trailers. Today we're excited because we're gonna tell you about a new trailer offering here at Knight. Black Rhino Aluminum Utility Trailers. We first saw this product last September down at the National Trailer Show in Nashville, Tennessee. We met the people and it's like we instantly fell in love with the product and the people. So a week later we were at their plant viewing their facilities and how they build their trailers and we knew that we had to bring this into our product offering here at night. So we're going to show them to you today. We're going to show them to you today. We're three days away from the official start of spring. We're excited about that too. So we're doubly excited. Black Rhino trailers and spring coming here in Northern Illinois. We're going to go through the product offering with you here just quickly. Um, what we like about the trailer is the way it's built. Durability is the name here. A lot of your aluminum trailers aren't built as durably as perhaps they should be. So we're going to take a look at this trailer right here. We're going to start with a tandem axle unit. And they have two different models, the LS and the UT. The LS has a railing around the perimeter of the deck. LS stands for landscape. Okay. So let's start up here at the tongue and show you what we've got going here. We've been adding a spare tire and rim and a spare tire mount to almost every trailer here at Night Equipment. Seems like today more people are wanting to keep a, a uh, spare tire and rim on board. This though, the mount does bolt on as you can see. So if you don't want it in this location, you can take the mount off. And then we had them to set the jack back. So they put a swivel jack bolted to the tube of the trailer. So that could be removed also, but we like to set that jack back. If it was up here and sticking up, when you put the tailgate of a trailer down, or of a truck down, you'll hit the jack and damage your, your tailgate. So we had them put the jack back here. But again, if you wanted to modify that, you could unbolt it, put an alternate style jack up to the front if you wanted to mount a big toolbox or something up here. Now note that the tongue is triple tube. This center draw bar goes all the way back and welds to the bottom of three cross members. So it goes back into the main frame of the trailer and then you can see that the A-frame portion is tubing. In this case it's four inch tubing on this model. And see how it comes down to the side of the bed. Okay and then there is a three by three tube. So this is called wrapping of the tongue that comes back to the fender. And you'll see that three by three structure also is behind the fender. Okay, now notice that the bed frame, it's a good thick wall tubing too. It's five inches on this model, five inches. And then this tube is welded to this tube and then it's gusseted in several spots. So you've got a real strong tube, mainframe construction, okay? Now your cross members beneath the deck are 24 inch on center. You can see where the screw lines are here, but they're also three by three tubing. So they're not light duty angle iron. So don't be alarmed that they're 24 inch on center instead of um, less spacing because it's three by three tube, not light duty angle iron. The railing is two by two tubing and it's thick wall. So your upright post and your top rail are two by two uh, this railing on the tandem axle units is nine inches tall from the top of the deck to the top of the tube. This particular deck would be the standard deck. It's treated wood. Now it's not just any treated southern yellow pine. This is called pro wood. If you've done any deck work uh, at your home, you're going to find out or probably recall seeing the name pro wood. This is five quarter inch thick boards. They're kiln dried and they are pressure treated color. So this deck is gonna stay nice looking and hold up for a long time. This is not your typical Southern pine. This is red pine, kiln dried, color treated, okay? That's the standard deck, the wood deck on the aluminum trailer. The fenders on this trailer are screwed on to the mainframe. So if you damage a fender, it's gonna be relatively easy to take it off and replace it. 
We have Dexter never adjust brakes on both axles of the trailer. So you've got four brakes and they're the good brand Dexter and they're the never adjust style. Never have to adjust the brakes. Continuously adjust themselves forward when you're rolling forward. Okay, the aluminum rims are standard on the trailer. And you'll see that the lights are LED. They're the small LED dime lights, like this one right here. We have LED strip lights at the back of the trailer on the bumper. And your stop turns and tails, of course, are LEDs. Okay, now one thing we really like about this trailer is the durability, the structure of the rear fold-up gate. Okay? This gate is actually five feet. And this trailer, by the way, has drop axles. Notice it's pretty low to the ground because of the four inch drop axles. And then the gate is a little bit taller than most. It's five feet. The gate is split in two and it's durably built. A lot of cross runners and they're pretty close together on top of horizontal structures that are tube, back to that tube. Split in two so it's not too heavy to lift and lower. My wife, who's kind of a weenie, could lift and lower these gates. And they're not too heavy. They don't have spring assist, but you can see here, it's pretty easy to lift and lower that gate, okay? Then we call this a folding gate or a three position gate. You can, if you want to, lay the gate down onto the deck and it actually pins in place. So it's not gonna bounce up and down and rattle. Let me do this one here and you'll see how it pins in place. So if you're going on a long trip and if you don't have anything um, on the trailer and you don't want to have the gate up and down where it's gonna pick up some extra wind, you can lay them down and pin them into position. Trailer comes with some stake pockets. You can tie to the stake pockets or put in your um, removable stake pocket D-rings that are available all over the internet. Okay, this is the basic unit. Happens to be 81 inches wide. This is a 14 footer, 81 by 14. And it's a full 14 feet. It's about 14 feet and one inch on the inside of that bed. Okay, let's step to the next trailer. Okay, this is the same model. It's still the LS, the landscape model. And again, the landscape model has the nine inch high railing down both sides. Only difference with this trailer, it's a little bit longer, but notice the aluminum deck. This has an extruded aluminum deck instead of the red pine wood. So perhaps longer lasting. Depends how you take care of a pine wood deck. You know, they'll last a long time too if you take good care of them. But this is the aluminum extruded deck, a little bit lighter. Same model of trailer, same back end, same tongue, same basic frame structure. Now we're gonna switch models. This is the model UT, stands for utility. The only primary difference between this trailer and the two landscapers we showed you previously is that notice there's no side rails on this trailer. There's a bump stop in the front, the good tuba two tubing bump stop, but the sides are open. So if you wanted to bring in something from the side, maybe a pallet with a forklift, you could come in, approach from the side, and lay your pallet down. Other than that, it's the same basic trailer. Same tongue, same mainframe, and same rear fold-up gate. But this is the utility model, UT. Okay, now we're back to the LS model, but just a little different twist. This is the LS with solid sides, okay? You can see there's aluminum tread plate that's been filled in to totally enclose the sides. This particular unit does have the aluminum floor. Otherwise, the same basic frame structure. So this is the solid sided version of the landscape trailer, the model LS. Let's back up to the gate structure a minute. This is where a lot of aluminum trailers fail. Okay, this gate is such that, as far as structure integrity, I'm gonna tell you we'll call this rolling dispersed rated for about 5,000 pounds, okay? 
If you have a compact tractor that weighs 5,000 pounds, this gate's going to handle it and hold up for you. Now, if you tell me you've got a 5,000 pound skid steer, a lot of concentrated weight, we're going to have to look at it application to application. But as far as this gate's concerned, you want to load up a 5,000 pound compact tractor, she'll do it. Okay, now we're going to jump to the single axle version. This is the single axle LS, has the railing. In the case of the single axles, the railings are 14 inches tall, okay? Little bit difference now in framework. The heavy frame isn't quite required for this trailer. But if you'll look at the tongue over here, you'll see it's still triple tube. It is still triple tube. This center draw bar goes clear back and tack welds, or actually weld solid to three of the cross members beneath the deck. So still triple tube tongue. Now the 81 inch wide version of trailer has the same axle, the Dexter 3,500 pound axle with the never adjust electric brake. So this trailer is rated for 3,500 pound GVW, okay? So this trailer will haul 2,500 pounds for you. The frame structure is a little bit different. It doesn't have the wrapped tongue. The framework's a little bit lighter, but quite adequate for what you're gonna do with the single axle trailer. The gate on this one, we're gonna tell you we'll stand behind that between 2,000 and 2,200 pounds. Now it's a one piece gate, so it's not quite as heavy. It's a one piece gate, but still easy, you can see the lift and lower. Okay, so we'll say this is good up to 2,200 pounds rolling dispersed. Okay, same version of single axle landscape model LS. So it has the railing, but again, this is the solid side version. The aluminum tread plate going down both sides and across the front to enclose. Okay, one more model jump. Here's still the single axle trailer rated at 3,500 pounds, okay? But notice this is the UT model. So it has your bump stop in front, but the sides are open. So again, you could come and load something from the side, not have the railings in the way. This one again with the optional aluminum deck. Same rear gate, same tongue structure. Same Dexter, never adjust, axle, 3,500 pound rated. Okay, just to note, this trailer is 72 inches wide. It comes in 72 inches wide by 10 or 12 feet long. And also, they make a five foot wide in eight or 10 feet long. So they're available in a smaller version too. This is a 72 by 12 and happens to be the UT model. No side rails, okay? Anyway, thanks for joining us here at Night Equipment. Come by and take a look at these new Black Rhino trailers. I think you'll agree they're very durably built and will hold up for you in the long run if you choose to go with the aluminum trailer. Thanks for joining us here at Night Equipment, and we'll look forward to seeing you again in the future.